atmosphere out here as the university celebrates the first formal day of their new president with a barbecue. And, well, it looks like they're having a good time. Now, Maria Hernandez Feria has a vision to unite the university with the community. And many people are saying it's happening. How wonderful is this, you all? Less than 24 hours after officially taking the reins of Texas A&M University San Antonio campus, we know that you all are our very best ambassadors. Its founding president, Maria Hernandez Feria, is back in what she does best, interacting with the very students who admire her conviction and hands-on approach to education. She'll spend 30 minutes if she has to downstairs hugging all the students and getting to know them personally. Feria, a native San Antonian, came to the university a couple of years ago and has worn many hats. She was drawn to the school's mission of providing higher education to those less fortunate. Realtors didn't steer people to the south side, but today it is blossoming. I knew that there was, you know, my options were limited and that uh, higher education was probably not possible until I found out that it was here and that it was affordable. Melissa Sanchez is one of the many students attending the university, which is located in an abandoned elementary school, the very school Sanchez attended as a child. Since Ferrier took over as director a few years ago, the school's enrollment more than doubled to 3,100 with hopes of being the second largest university within the Texas a and system. You know, it's like the South Side will rise again. It's already beginning to rise. And just this May, the university broke ground on its new campus, located on South Loop 410. Ferrier says the new campus, which is nicknamed the Harvard of the Southwest because of the intermingling of the university and community. The future is very bright. And the university will stay in this temporary location for one more year, and then the new facility on South Loop 410 is slated to be open by next August. Reporting live tonight on the South Side, Nadia Ramos, 5 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Nadia.